So here we are at the Phillipsburg pumping station. Uh, we got one of the dash pots that was frozen to move up a little bit, but no more. So I decided this would be a good side project, the DC motor. We've jumped from the grid through these wires to this beautiful little homemade rectifier here, courtesy of Mr. Rob Reeve. This is a 300 amp rectifier, which uh, takes the form of a full bridge rectifier. We are using it to make DC power. The reason it's so dark in here, besides this panel light, is because we wanted to cut lights out as much as possible to ease the electrical load, which is why I brought this gorgeous uh, kerosene-fired searchlight of mine that I've had for a while. So anyway, we've got 175 volts DC here on the panel. I've jammed the contactors shut because there's a faulty circuit to operate the coil, so I just shoved some things in there. No problem at all. This is the circuit breaker. This is the motor soft start. And this is the motor field rheostat. So without further ado, oh, and, and of course that is the motor. So without further ado, we'll start it up. And a la Conrad Milster, first I'll show you a wonderful old-fashioned direct current arc. <laughs> Burn your eyeballs right out of your head. So we're going to pick through resistor grids now. The motor's spinning up until we have no more grids left. That's no resistors, and then we can raise field excitation. And you can see the motor spinning right over there. The motor is decoupled from the pump, so it's running loadless, which is why we're only drawing about 25 amps When I cut it out and then cut it back in again, you'll see it draws a little more, of course, which is customary The field rheostat for the DC generator is disconnected. We assume that's because the generator comes up to uh, rated voltage when it's at rated RPM. I think they designed it fixed field. And then to shut it down, all you do is you let go of the breaker like this. We bypass the trip so that I have to hold it in in order for it to remain powered. But uh, that's, that's how it works. And then of course we'll demonstrate the dead man. The rail that picks through the resistor grids currently uh, has an open circuit somewhere. However, the circuit that works the first terminal on the dead man, if we took the breaker in like this, that's how the contactor operates. The trouble is, when you try to pick through grids, it immediately drops out because the continuous rail that runs through it seems to be open circuit somewhere. So. We'll see, uh, we'll address that at a later time. But that's the story with, when it comes to the electrics. And the next thing we're going to be doing, electrically wise, is going to be we're going to get rid of the modern shitboard panel thing and get the original switch panel and rheostat that operated all the lights in here off the Pelton wheel driven generator running. So that's the story.